Hi, this is Cami Davis, and I am at KSKQ Radio Station in Ashland, Oregon. Teresa Ackerson and Cornelius uh, is a photographer. Our, uh, behind me, we just interviewed with Martin Ball, who is a really great um, DJ with the radio station. So make sure that you listen to his program, which is every Sunday from 2 to 4. Today we're going to get very sophisticated. We're not going to be talking about music, but today we're talking about art. Yes, high culture art and all kinds of fabulous things. So my guest today, <laughs> here on the Locals Only Show, on KSKQ is, first of all, we have Teresa Ackerson, who is a local art agent, and she arranges um, many different art shows here locally. And we also have Cami Davis, who works in mixed media and painting, and um, also does videography. She's currently videotaping me right now, which I'm sure I look great because my eyes are really itchy right now. I probably look high personally, because my, my allergies are really going for it. So my, my eyes are pretty red and itchy right now. And we also have Cornelius Mateo, who's a photographer. And we're talking art here on the Locals Only Show, which is a great change up. Usually we're talking music, but hey, this is all about local art and music and supporting local community. So in the air. And uh, we're gonna continue our interviewing we're going to talk to Cammie Davis. Cammie, welcome to the Locals Only Show. Yay! Yay! Hi! <laughs> <laughs> so Cammie, tell us a little bit about your work. We, um, we've talked very briefly here, and you're actually filming us at yes. this moment. So I know you work in mixed media and video, but tell us a little bit about your work, and you also have an upcoming show, so we've got to talk about that too. But start by tell us, tell us about your work and about you. Tell us about you. Who are you? Oh, who am I? Okay, well, I moved here uh, two years ago from Seattle to caretake my 95-year-old grandma, and the reason I got talked into that was my parents offered me a, um, an artist workshop at grandma's house, and I went, okay, I can't resist. I wanted to be an artist all my life. So I was just graduating in, um, from design school. So I moved here and the idea being to build, not only enjoy doing art, but to actually build a, a business that will support me um, during the time while I'm caretaking my grandma. So I think I pretty much hit the ground with my feet running and got myself networking and involved in a lot of uh, community um, organizations and stuff like that. My art itself, my original pieces, um, the ones that are hanging in Bloomsbury right now, which is the um, exhibit that we're promoting, um, Bloomsbury Coffee Shop had these old brick walls and it's kind of intimate and maybe a little darker in, inside. So I wanted to bring some brighter pieces. Um, I made some pieces specifically for um, th this exhibit so they have not been hung before. And they were um, studies in color and texture. Um, with my mixed media, I do a lot with texture. It, it kind of has a three, uh, dimensionality to it. Um, and then, of course, I, I love bright colors. So okay, those... hold on, I'm going to pause you right oh. there. For, for the art, <laughs> okay, I'll just say, for the art idiots out there, mm. not to insult anyone, but I just mean as in having a lack of knowledge. What is meant by mixed media? Because you just said that these are your mixed media pieces, but what, what, what do you mean by that? Explain for us art lay people. Um, often it's collage, but it's using um, just varied materials. Um, I do mine on um, wood panels that I build myself, um, and then I started using a lot of different textures. Um, graduating in interior design, I started using a lot of textiles because they're really cool. Like you just want to reach out and touch them, and I love that aspect of art when you just want to, you know, you want to touch it and kind of belong to it. Can we touch it? You can. I actually put a clear really? coat on because I, I, I mean, there's no way you can resist. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I like the sound of that. So you have textiles, and you, you mentioned collage, and what, what else is mixed in there? Um, gosh, I do different things. Um, I did some recently. Actually, they are hanging up at Bloomsbury um, where I, I use beads. I wanted to try sanding techniques where after you paint, I paint with acrylics, and after you paint you sand parts of it off and then you get that, that depth of layer from underneath so that they were red beads and they're like poking up through the green so it was kind of cool. I love experimenting. I'm doing concrete right now. Concrete? Like <laughs> it. 
<laughs> so people can actually go into Bloomsbury's now and see your pieces, and if they want, it's okay for them to actually touch the pieces? It, the it is. My, my only caution is that they are hanging on old brick walls, so you know the nails are maybe not turned up as high as I would like, so just touch them gently so they don't fall on you. Okay, wow. Um, so, so I kind of interrupted you there. Um, I don't know if you remember where you were, but I, I just wanted to get, make it clear about what mixed media was. Um, well, let me ask you, I haven't been into Bloomsbury's in the past couple of weeks, so I haven't seen the pieces yet. Um, how large are they? Like when you're working on a collage, what kind of size do you like to work with? What, what is your preference, or do you have a preference? I do. I actually really like um, large pieces of art, and for a while I was doing four feet by four feet, and then it just became kind of unmanageable to store and, and carry them. Um, the, probably my favorite size to work with is like two feet by four feet, so they're you know almost human size. Um, but Bloomsbury is a smaller space, mm -hmm. so I focused on smaller paintings. Um, also part of the reason I did some new pieces for it. So they're all, they're as small as like 12 inches by 18 inches, and um, probably two feet by three feet is the biggest. And are these abstract pieces, or how would you describe them other than as mixed media? Well, actually, Teresa and I were having an interesting conversation about <laughs> that the other day. Because yeah. I've always called myself an abstract artist, because to me that was, you know, a little wild. Um, but in this area, abstract means completely non-representational, and my, my paintings are meant to evoke emotion um, when I'm really getting, uh, being concept-driven. I'm, I'm painting what I'm feeling at the time, and those mm -hmm. are my favorite pieces of work. So there is some, um, I use flowers and stuff like that a lot, roots, trees, stuff like that. Okay, so there's, there's like real stuff in there. Yes. So it's not, not purely abstract. In terms of creating these pieces, what kind of space do you like to be in, and what is that creative process like for you? Now that is really an interesting question, actually. Um, my favorite pieces that I do are when I really have the time and the emotional ability, like force myself to go there emotionally to really just concentrate and, and dive deep in, into a series. Um, I did a few since I've been here. One was on how time affects our life. It was uh, ruining a relationship in mine. So it was an interesting progression from like happy to it was bleeding, the, the clocks, the time was bleeding by the end. Um, and then I did one uh, called The Root of All Questions, which was um, had a lot of um, growth and um, layers of roots grabbing hold of things and stuff. And then we have Cami Davis, whose work is up at Bloomsbury Coffee. That's um, also downtown Ashland, right there on the main drag. And her work is up now. Her mixed media paintings are there. And her reception is going to be Thursday, the 20th of this month. And I also will be doing some music for that as well. And that's 4.30 to 6.30. Okay. Well, Teresa, thank you so much for coming in today and for bringing these two wonderful artists. And it's great to sort of initiate this on the Locals Only Show. And hopefully we can bring in some more artists to talk about their work and promote their shows in the future because this is the locals only show and pretty much up until this moment right here it's exclusively been about music but it's really it's about the creativity here in Ashland and in Southern Oregon so I'm always happy to promote all of that here on the show. Alright, thank you guys for all coming in. Thank you for visiting the radio station with us. <laughs>